over the weekend, we'll talk to you in a bit, Selva, uh, our very own Bucky Brooks. He worked so hard and he put together this list of top five underrated players in the NFL. The most underrated dudes today. Here's how it looks. Matthew Stafford, J.C. Jackson, Jerome Baker, Robert Tunyon, and Hassan Reddick with the Panthers. Now, interesting. A lot of players in the league don't get enough credit. It's sort of what we built our show upon, is giving love to the unheralded. So who would you add, guys, to this list as a top underrated talent tricks? Okay, so underrated such a tricky one because I said Tyler Lockett's underrated on my wide receivers underrated list and I got so many responses saying he just signed a multi-year contract that's going to pay him generational wealth. How underrated is he? Fair. But I'm going to go to a conversation I had with Arthur Smith and Sean McVay. Arthur Smith's the new head coach of the Falcons with the Titans for years. Sean McVay's the coach of the Rams. And we're doing this podcast, Flying Coach, that I'm working with uh, with McVay this offseason. And we start off the conversation just talking about offense. And the last thing I expected was Sean McVay and Arthur Smith to go on a 15-minute tangent about how good Roger Saffold is. Roger Saffold is a 12-year offensive lineman who played with the Rams and is now with the Titans. And just so happens to be the guy who is blocking for Todd Gurley on all his big seasons. And then, of course, Derrick Henry. This is him in week two, just manhandling a player on a passing play that McVay was like, can we talk about the Saffold block against the Jaguars? I'm like, I don't even know what you're talking about. Smith and McVay, two of the most respected offensive geniuses, just raving about Roger Staffold and his durability and his strength. We talk under it. You mentioned Larry Fitzgerald, and we talk about Phillip Rivers, all these longtime players in the NFL. Roger Saffold's not going to the Hall of Fame. Roger Saffold's not going to be an all, uh, you know, an all pro, but he started at least 15 games in the last five seasons. He is so reliable. He's so good. Went to the Super Bowl with the Rams, and then goes to the Titans, and Derrick Henry rips off two straight 2,000-yard seasons. Roger Saffold, not a household name, very underrated, but if you ask those offensive coaches who have had him on their lineups, they will all tell you that this guy is the glue to what makes a really good running offense. Roger Saffold, early on a Monday morning in July. I like that, Strakes. Okay, I got one for you. Um, Can an underrated guy be in his late 30s? Can an underrated guy be in the league well over a decade? Can an underrated guy be a quarterback that has played for just about every team in the NFL? How about Ryan Fitzpatrick, underrated? Yep, that's exactly I'm going with. The guy who was drafted in the seventh round in 2005, he was making plays last year. The big reason why we question whether Tua Tunga Vailoa is that dude or not is because Ryan Fitzpatrick was clearly that dude in a Miami Dolphins uniform. The big reason why they let go of Ryan Fitzpatrick was because he made it uncomfortable for Tua to mature. Ryan Fitzpatrick is underappreciated because he was one of those bridge quarterbacks, and he's just gonna be here for a while and keep the bench warm while Tua gets his mind right. Well, I feel like for majority of the season, the fans for Miami, and not only fans from Miami, just fans of football, wanted to see Ryan Fitzpatrick go in the game. And there was a juice. It wasn't just the spectators. It was also the team. So for me, I feel like he's going to bring that same type of energy to Washington where they so desperately need a leader at the quarterback position. Don't trip off of the fact that he's been in the league forever and he's played for every team and he's one of those guys that puts a smile on his face. He just grips it and rips it. I do feel like he's going to show up and show out this year for Washington. And if he can just maintain a certain level of consistency with that defense that they have, they might not just surprise people in the NFC East, but in the entire NFL. And I'm going to stick with that plus 30 crowd and go south to Jacksonville and wide receiver Marvin Jones. This is a young man, 31, I think he's 31, who just puts his head down and produces. He is reliable. He is dependable. He always has a smile on his face. A year ago, he was just shy of 1,000 yards, nine touchdowns. And I think when you have a young quarterback like Trevor Lawrence, you have a coach, Urban Meyer, who is obviously new to this group, you need a steady presence like like Marvin Jones. And the other thing with him is if he's underrated, if he's flying under the radar, that's never been an issue for him. I remember being at a game way back in 2013 when he was with the Bengals. AJ Green got all of the attention of the Jets. I mean, he was literally.